Hi everybody. Today we are going to revise lesson number 4 living things. We have already discussed this lesson in the previous sessions. Also you have studied about living things in your previous classes, isn't it? So you know very well about living things and non-living things. Let us go through this. Characteristics of living things. There are few common features which all the living things have. They are called characteristics of living things. Like living things move on their own. Living things need air, water and food. Living things are made up of cells. Living things grow and change. Living things respond to change. Living things reproduce. Now the first one. Living things move on their own. We know that living things like animals move in search of food, shelter and also to protect themselves from their enemies. But living things like plants, do they move? Have you seen a plant going from one place to another? No, the plants do not move. They don't have to move in search of food as they make their own food. Now the next one. Living things need air, water and food. Without any of these, they will not be able to survive. Right, they will die. And non-living things do not need any. Now, all the animals depend on plants directly or indirectly for their food. As few animals eat plants and other animals eat the animals who eat plants. In this way, all the animals directly or indirectly depend on plants for their food. What about the plants? Plants make their own food by a process called photosynthesis. Now, in this process, in the presence of sunlight, the green leaves of the plant have the substance called chlorophyll with the help of which and sunlight, air, water, plant makes its own food by a process called photosynthesis. Now, living things are made up of cells. The smallest living part of living things is cell. All the living things are made up of cells. Few living things like amoeba, they are very small. They are made up of only single cells. Other animals, plants, etc. are made up of millions of cells of different types. The cells are so small that they cannot be seen with our naked eyes. Then, what do we require to see the cells? We require a device called microscope through which we can see the cells. Now living things grow and change. You have observed around you that when the plant grows from a seed, it is very small and then the tiny seed slowly grows and becomes a big plant. Same is the case with animals and human beings also. When we are born, we look like a small baby. Slowly, changes occur. Our height increases, our weight increases and gradually we grow. And then a baby girl or boy changes into an adult. In this way, living things grow and change. So all the living things grow and change and they die. Living things respond to change. Let us solve the questions based on what we have discussed right now and what we have already studied in this chapter. So, the first question is choose the correct option. In this, I am going to put a tick on the correct answer. 
in the exam remember children you have to click on the correct answer yes i am going to put a tick on the correct answer here in the exam you have to click on the correct answer now which among these is not a natural non living thing sun moon paper or rock right the answer is paper because paper is a man made thing it's not a natural thing animals move in search of food shelter to escape from their enemies or all of these right the answer is four all of this as we have discussed animals move around in search of food shelter and to escape from their enemies which among these is not required by living things to survive food mountain water or air right the answer is b mountain animals do not have dash so they cannot make their food leaf stomata or chlorophyll right the answer is c chlorophyll chlorophyll is the green pigment which is present in the leaves of a plant because of which plants can make their own food animals do not have chlorophyll that's why they cannot make their own food there are some non green plants and mushroom which do not have chlorophyll that's why they cannot make their own food and mushroom depends on dead animals and plants for getting nutrients now the next one bodies of all living things are made up of dash cells seeds spores amoeba right the answer is cells the bodies of all living things are made up of millions of cells of different type which among these does not happen when living things grow they look different their height increases their height decreases their weight increases right the answer is c their height decreases it doesn't happen when living things grow dash organs in the animals help them to feel changes in their surrounding respiratory organs sense organs digestive organs or all of this right the sense organs in animals help them to feel changes in their surroundings plants do not grow from this stem egg root leaves which is the correct answer the answer is right b x plants do not grow from eggs the bud of sunflower plant moves to face the sun this shows that plants are made up of cells plants reproduce plants respond to change in their surroundings right the answer is c plants respond to change in their surroundings all the living things that have life are placed by scientists under all living things living things non living things none of these right all the things that have life are placed under living things now true or false again i am telling you i am going to tick here you have to click on the correct answer in the exam non living things normally do not move 
on their own true or false that's true non living things do not move on their own living things can survive without food water or air that's false because they will try they cannot survive without food water or air all the plants have chlorophyll is it true or false the answer is false all the plants do not have chlorophyll mushrooms grow on dead animals or plants the answer is true mushroom grow and get their nutrients from dead animals or plants the smallest living part of living things is seed that's false because it is cells the smallest living part of living things are cells all living things grow and change that's what's the answer right that's true all living things grow and change we can see cells with our naked eyes that's false yes because we cannot see cells without a microscope we require a device called microscope to see the cells as they are very small all living things that have life are placed under non living things the answer is false they are placed under living things some plants can grow from stem root or leaves the answer is true some plants can also grow from stem root or leaves plants do not respond to changes around them that is false because plants do not have sense organs still they respond to changes around them plants move around in search of food that's false because they make their own food so they don't have to move around in search of food plants do not have chlorophyll that's again false because they do have green substance called chlorophyll in their leaves most animals reproduce by producing seeds or spores that's false because most plants reproduce by producing seeds or spores air is a non living thing that can move on its own that's true air is a non living thing that can move on its own plants and animals are similar in the way they eat live move and reproduce that's false because they differ in various ways in which they eat move live and reproduce answer the following questions mention three important characteristics that differentiate between a living and a non living thing living things need food air and water non living things do not need any of these living things like animals can move non living things usually cannot move living things reproduce non living things do not reproduce while studying things why do we group them when we group things together it makes it easier to study them when we know the characteristics of some of the members we can understand the features of the other new unknown members also discuss living things grow and change as a baby grows older it increases in height and weight in few years time the baby becomes an adult as growth occur many changes take place and many of a baby's car features become different 
ultimately the person grow, grows old and dies. We are going to end this session here.